Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to be talking about scams targeting people searching for Amazon KDP for beginners on YouTube. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. If you search Amazon KDP for beginners on YouTube, you'll see lots of results like this. People promising outsized returns on getting started for Amazon KDP, which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. I'm going to explain in this video why these are terrible ideas that these people are peddling. Uh, why they will not make you money and actually what the scam is. These people are not selling, uh, you know, good advice that will really make money. They're making money via another method. I'm going to break it down uh, in the next couple minutes. And one thing about me, I've been selling on Amazon KDP uh, with a legitimate book brand for more than 10 years. I got started with Amazon KDP in 2012. Started with a single title, Dropbox in 30 minutes. Since then, it's expanded to many more. These are legitimate books. These are written by experts in their respective fields. This is a trademarked uh, book brand, copyrighted content, real contracts with authors, real royalties. I'm doing things the right way here. It kind of it burns me up when I see people promising shortcuts to make lots of money on Amazon because A, I know it doesn't work, and B, they're actually trying to sell something else to make their own money. And with the, the other depressing thing about this is you can see that thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of people are watching these videos. They're getting an idea that they can make money easily using Amazon KDP, and it's just not true. So let's get into it. Uh, the first person that comes up here, I've seen him before. He has all these uh, Amazon money-making schemes, uh, peddling them on YouTube. For instance, Amazon KDP in 2023. What is it, what it is and how beginners can start? He has these uh, this text or these numbers here on his YouTube thumb that makes it seem like you can make uh, $6,590 in a month uh, selling books on Amazon KDP. So these are Kindle books that you're publishing and making tons of money on it. When you look at the video, he's waving his arms around a lot to kind of make you pay attention. Uh, he's kind of hinting at the easy tax tactics that are available to make money using Amazon KDP. Uh, usually he's advising to publish in certain niches where uh, there's uh, either not much competition or you can kind of rise to the top of the charts to make money on Amazon KDP. It's complete baloney. First of all, Amazon KDP is a really overused platform. There's millions of books published every year using Amazon KDP. Only a small percentage of them actually uh, sell a lot. And usually those are by established authors or people who are you know, running a legitimate publishing business and know what they're doing. Not by people that are just kind of thinking, oh, um, you know, if I, if I find a certain niche on Amazon, a book niche that's underserved and I have like ChatGPT write a fake book for me or I hire someone to do it for me and then slap on a cover, those books don't make money. Those books get one stars, they get two stars, they get no sales. So you've just wasted a ton of time on an effort that's not really related to publishing. It's just try uh, just a, a scheme to make money. It doesn't work on Amazon because there's far too much competition. And peop readers on Amazon, they're not stupid. People that get Kindles, they usually love books. So if they see garbage, they'll give you one star. They may even report the book. If you're breaking any laws, for instance, if your writer or ChatGPT or, or whoever is uh, copying information from another source and that part and and your book gets flagged for copyright infringement it's game over for your amazon kdp account this is terrible advice and i'll get into what the scam is like how this person's actually making money it's not by selling the legitimate books these two people uh this this lady here she's from like australia or new zealand or someplace this person is an american uh, they're basically advising people to do the same bad idea called low content books. The one on the bottom here even promises you can make $4,500 per month in passive income selling books online using Amazon KDP. Bad, bad advice, terrible advice. And I'll explain what low content books are. These are basically books that are like, uh, th this person actually lays it out very well. They're basically like notebooks or journals. They're blank pages. So you're not actually writing anything. You're just basically designing a cover. Maybe there's some stationary like product in inside the book, like a, you know, a journal or something like that. Using Amazon KDP to, to print something like a journal or a stationary is a terrible idea because the quality of the paper for Amazon KDP is not that good. It's a low grade of paper. I should know because I published on Amazon KDP. 
Um, you know, for the books that I have, it doesn't really matter the quality of the paper so much. But if you're doing something like a fine journal or a stationery that's used for like a professional purpose, like a, some sort of accounting journal, you, of course you don't want Amazon KDP or some uh, print-on-demand publisher because the paper quality will not be that good. Uh, the other problem with low-content books is they're currently banned on many other print-on-demand suppliers. Not Amazon KDP, uh, but if you look at – where I saw it someplace – Yes, if you look at Publishers Weekly from about three years ago, Lightning Source to introduce content integrity guidelines. So Lightning Source is probably the number two print-on-demand provider in the United States after Amazon KDP. Actually, if you use a program called um, Ingram Spark, which is kind of a sister company to Lightning Source, um, many, many people use that to publish on Amazon because you can get into Amazon as well as into other programs. These content integrity guidelines that uh, Lightning Source and Ingram rolled out about uh, three years ago, they're basically banning those types of books. Books containing blank pages exceeding 10%, notepads, scratch pads, journals, or similar types of content. So if if uh, Ingram Spark doesn't want to deal with these books, that's clearly an indication to them that there's a problem selling them. Um, Amazon, amazingly, hasn't really banned them yet. If you go to Amazon KDP, how to get started publishing with Amazon KDP, um, they say that you can still use things like journals or um, other types of books that would qualify as a low content book. So Amazon doesn't really care about it. I don't know if that will if that will if that, that will uh, remain constant because I have a feeling if Ingram Spark discovered three years ago that low content books are a bad idea, Amazon KDP eventually they'll come to their senses too and they'll ban it as well. And one reason is is because these results, these blank journals that these people are advising people to start uh, printing out using Amazon KDP or other sources, they, there's too many of them on Amazon. There's millions of them on Amazon. It's impossible to get noticed. And as I said before, KDP paper, the paper quality is not that good. They don't make good journals. They don't make good professional quality stationery. So these are terrible ideas to get started with publishing. Your books, either they won't get noticed, they won't get sold, or they'll start to get one or two star reviews, either because the quality of the paper is bad or there's some other problem when you design the book. If you're new to publishing, of course, you won't know how to do that. So if you, if you do it on yourself, DIY, the, it will look unprofessional. If you hire somebody, that's going to cost money, and I doubt you'll make any money back using these methods that these two people are suggesting. As I said before, this person is not a serious publisher. He's just looking for easy money schemes. And you know, at the end of the day, you may be wondering, well, so if these people... Um, they're advising using these methods to make money for uh, Amazon KDP, and this is the advice they're giving beginners. Like, well, how are they making money then? W what is the scam? And the scam is, uh, in e in this particular person's case, he wants you to he wants to get your email address. He's promising free information like a newsletter, and then he's going to try to upsell you on an expensive, overpriced masterclass. These masterclasses typically cost thousands of dollars per year, billed monthly. They give you access to very bad, uh, low quality advice, as well as usually some sort of private Facebook group or Discord server uh, where people are trading bad advice on how to, how to uh, promote scams or schemes on Amazon that don't make much money at all. So this is really a bad idea. That's how his scam works. These two people, if you look at their profiles, they're not, I, I didn't see the masterclass angle, but what they do have is all this affiliate income via using these different print-on-demand programs or Amazon programs to um, uh, affiliate programs to make money on some software program or something like that. Um, these are also not tools that I would ever use, but that's how they're making their money. It's, they're not making $4,500 a month in passive income selling low content books or $6,590 per month um, selling crappy niche books that are written by an AI or some uh, work for hire writer who might be uh, plagiarizing stuff from online. These are terrible ideas. These people are making money via other methods. If you are a beginner getting started with Amazon KDP, I do not recommend using either one of these tools. The place where you should start is on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, KDP, Amazon.com. Look at their help pages, um, start to look at forums and try to figure out how to do things the right way because the way that these people are suggesting, it's the wrong way. My name is Ian Lamont. I've been a publisher for more than 10 years on Amazon. If you go to my website, leanmedia.org, click on blogger video. I have tons of free advice. Um, for instance, this is search results for KDP, different blog posts that I've written over the years explaining um, issues with KDP, how to publish on KDP, and other things that new publishers should understand. Thank you so much for watching.